A hardscape report. As well as producing beautiful plans and 3D models, Vectorworks can count things so you don't have to. In this exercise, you'll learn how to use one of the pre-built worksheets to list the quantity of hardscape materials used in these areas. You'll learn how to change the formatting of this worksheet to suit your own unit of measure and local currency. Make Notes Reports the active class on the navigation palette. On the resource browser, use the Files menu to list the contents of the Design Build Sample file. Scroll down to the worksheet's heading and locate the worksheet called Hardscapes Budget. Drag this worksheet onto your drawing. Notice that it lists by name each area created with the Hardscape tool, with its perimeter, area in the current document area unit setting, price per square foot, and the total cost. Double click the worksheet on the drawing to open it in its own window. If you're a spreadsheet user, many of the functions in worksheets are similar, but without as many fancy buttons as a modern spreadsheet. In the top left corner, notice a small arrow. Click on it to open the worksheet menu. Click Database Headers. A new row opens that contains all the clever calculations needed to read your design and list your hardscapes. Click in cell B3, just below the word Perimeter. Open the worksheet menu again and choose Format Cells. If appropriate in your geography, change the trailer field to Linear Meter to represent linear meters and then click OK. The new trailer will display on the worksheet. Click on cell D3 directly below price per square foot. On the worksheet menu, choose format cells again and change the leader and trailer fields to the appropriate currency symbol and area unit for your geography. And then click OK. Repeat the process for the price column and cell E4 at the bottom of the price column. On the worksheet menu, choose database headers to hide the row with all the clever bits. Row 2 contains simple text as headings. Click on each cell that needs changing and then edit the text in the edit box at the top of the worksheet window and then press enter. Click on cell D 3.1. Enter a price per area measurement, for example 50. This worksheet has been set up to calculate the total price for each area based on the cost per square area. The values are correct wherever you're working because of the unit settings in your file. Close the worksheet window by clicking on the red button at the top left of the window on a Macintosh or clicking the X at the top right of the window on a Windows machine. The updated worksheet displays on the drawing. For now, select and delete the worksheet. It's now a resource of this file and we will use it later. For now, keep the file open. We'll continue working with it in the next section.